Hi, I'm Will, and I'm starting up something a little bit new today. It's called the Faith Tag, and I've written some questions for myself, which are going to be in the downstairs area as well. This is for people of all faiths, or for people of none, kind of especially for people of faith, because some of the questions may seem a little bit odd to those that aren't. Name, William Dyer. What is your faith, in brackets, lack of? close brackets. I am a Christian. I like to call myself Church of England, but you know, I dabble in other areas as well. How did you come to faith or realise you had none? When I grew up in a Christian family, I didn't really have a crisis of faith, but I did have a period where I didn't go to church or anything like that. And then it, there was a massive event called Soul Survivor. It's a massive Christian event. It's really great. And that I came a lot closer to faith then. What is the most important belief you hold about your faith or lack of? That love is key. You know, for me, when Jesus came down to earth, he came down because he wanted to show us how to live our lives in a way that shows love. I try and love people and forgive people as much as possible and this may mean sometimes forgiving people for things that they have done which perhaps shouldn't be forgiven, you know, that really hurt someone and it wouldn't be fashionable to forgive them. But in my opinion everyone deserves a second chance. Uh, how do you practice your faith? Pray? I read the Bible? You know? Um, a lot of my friends when I was in college felt this was weird, but I actually have a list of people that I pray for. And even when I have this thing where I pray for people if I see them on Facebook, help this person in whatever they're trying to achieve, and I love it when, a lot of the time you don't get to see the, the fruits of prayer, but when something does happen and that comes about in a really organic way and you think, no, oh, the man upstairs, you know, he's, had, he's got something to do with it. Do you regularly go to a place of worship? Yes, because I work in one. So I work for a church. Uh, I also work for a Christian charity. I work for a Christian charity called XLP, Urban Youth Charity. I do youth work and as part of that work, I'm based at a lovely church called All Saints Church in Peckham. Gay marriage, yay or nay? I'm yay, but I know a lot of people in the Christian faith are nay. M basically, my thing is, um, it says in a bit in the Bible, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast. You know, and I just, one of the commandments was that you shouldn't lie. A mate of mine brought me this conclusion, which I thought was really poignant, that being asked not to lie, and you feel that being in a relationship with some with the wrong sex is a lie then perhaps you shouldn't be in that relationship evolution or creation my view is that the story that's in genesis that the lord created the world in seven days for me it's a way that it could have happened i would love to think that it is the literal truth but there's so much evidence that not contradicts it but rubs up against all of the things in Genesis 1. I mean, I do believe that the Lord created the world in seven days, but perhaps he created it in the Big Bang. You know, who's to say seven days isn't like that minuscule time when the world began? And who's to say Adam and Eve weren't actually apes? You know, there's a whole realm of possibilities that some of which have been explored by theologians and by scientists, some of which haven't, which just makes it all the more fascinating. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please comment, um, feel free to challenge me on beliefs. And I'd like to tag, and this is a really broad tag, anyone who has faith or doesn't have faith and who would like to discuss it. This is The Faith Tank, I've been Will Dyer, and yeah, I'll see you again soon. Bye!